our collusion and corruption segment tonight, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein announced today indictments of 13 Russian nationals and three Russian entities for meddling in the 2016 election. According to the indictment, defendants' operations included supporting the presidential campaign of then-candidate Donald J. Trump and disparaging Hillary Clinton, including buying political advertisements and staging rallies while posing as U.S. grassroots entities. The indictment also says that some defendants communicated with unwitting individuals associated with the Trump campaign. Now, please notice that phrase, unwitting individuals. Some people are trying to portray this indictment as an indictment of the entire Trump administration, but isn't that phrase key? This was Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein this morning. A grand jury in the District of Columbia today returned an indictment presented by the special counsel's office. The indictment charges 13 Russian nationals and three Russian companies for committing federal crimes while seeking to interfere in the United States political system, including the 2016 presidential election. The defendants allegedly conducted what they called information warfare against the United States with the stated goal of spreading distrust towards the candidates and the political system in general. Now, there is no allegation in this indictment that any American was a knowing participant in this illegal activity. There is no allegation in the indictment that the charge conduct altered the outcome of the 2016 election. This indictment serves as a reminder that people are not always who they appear to be on the internet. The indictment alleges that the Russian conspirators want to promote discord in the United States and undermine public confidence and democracy. We must not allow them to succeed. Joining me now, founder and president of the Center for Security Policy, Frank Gaffney. Frank, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me, Liz. Great to be with you. All right, Frank. So this, this indictment, 13 uh, Russian nationals, individuals, plus three Russian entities accused of violating U.S. law in order to try to try to impact, to wage a disinformation campaign, essentially, to impact the outcome of the 2016 election. But something I think the mainstream media and liberals immediately overlooked, and it's quite difficult. You have to overlook this intentionally because uh, uh, Rosenstein's remarks were not long, nor were they extensive. But this is what he said. They said He said, there is no allegation in the indictment that any American was a knowing participant in the scheme, nor is there any allegation that the scheme affected the outcome of the election. That's pretty critical, is it not? I would say so, but really, you put this all together, Liz, and I, I think that this is a demonstration of what I think of as the malfeasance of the Mueller investigation. Um, it is pursuing the will of the wisp that there was some collusion between Trump personnel and the Russians. There's not evidence of that. They've now decided to prosecute a bunch of Russians who I suspect it will be very difficult, in fact, to prosecute since they're not going to come here to be subjected to our judicial system. Um, you look at what was alleged here in terms of the degree to which there was any interference, and it is trivially small. You add on top of that the fact that it's alleged that somehow it was designed to benefit Donald Trump and hurt Hillary Clinton. That's not supported by the facts. In short, you put all this together, and uh, to quote the talking points of the Democrats after the Nunez memo, it certainly looks like a nothing burger to me, except that it does seem as though it further reinforces the impression that this is a partisan witch hunt by Robert Mueller, the special counsel. And I think the sooner it's put out of its misery, the better. Right. It, it, it shows me, too. And, and people, I think, are overlooking this. It shows me that we have underestimated Russia in a sense. We have brushed uh, the idea that Russia is truly putting time and effort and resources into disrupting our democracy. We've almost whitewashed over that, pretending that we want to reset relations with a country that does not have our best interests in mind. Not only do they not have our best interests in mind, they are actively trying to undermine our democracy. I mean, th you're, you're correct in the sense that the information in this indictment is not only... Um, indicative of these robots, these trolls, these disinformation campaign personnel trying to boost Donald Trump and hurt Hillary Clinton. But on November 12th of 2016, these people, the defendants, organized a rally in New York to show support for President-elect Donald Trump. The same day, 
They uh, organized a rally to show that Trump is not my president. That was also in New York. They are very clearly trying to disrupt our country, to undermine our democracy. That's dangerous. Well, Liz, I, I hate to point this out. I'm actually an old cold warrior who has always thought the Russians were a problem. And unfortunately, uh, at the end of what we call the Cold War, they, they basically went into bankruptcy and reorganized. And uh, more or less, the same people are doing more or less the same sorts of things. And sadly, this kind of information operation, uh, I suspect, is, uh, is trivial compared to the other sorts of cyber and um, military espionage and technology theft and military buildups and exercises in aggression. I mean, you put this whole thing together and it's hard to believe that we're going to conclude other than that the Russians are a major and increasingly formidable problem for the United States. But there's one other piece that I know you've been covering extensively and properly so. And that is when you compare this well, nothing burger uh, involving the Trump candidacy, the Trump transition, the Trump presidency, with what we know was being done by Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama and the DNC and agencies of the U.S. government to collude with the Russians. I mean, it's just mind boggling that we are still off on this clear deflection from the real problem that we're facing here, which is the Russians. And it is their willingness to help so-called progressive candidates succeed. So when you hear, by the way, from the leaders of the intelligence community that they're going to be all over us in the 2018 election, mark my words, they're going to be interfering on behalf of the hard left, the social democrats, the progressives, the communists that are apparently going to be running for office in droves. That's going to be a problem. Right, and also a political note here, it's, uh, it's almost comical to hear liberals dismiss these very, very clear statements from Rod Rosenstein, where he said that some defendants communicated with unwitting individuals associated with the Trump campaign. That's obviously making it as clear as possible to people who would assume that Trump campaign officials uh, or transition officials or uh, administration officials, like you said, took some part in this, could not be clearer that that is not who they're talking about uh, and that no American was a knowing participant and this didn't affect the outcome of the election. Yet still, Democrats yeah. just dismissing it. That shows you what they are pursuing. They're not pursuing truth. They're pursuing their own agenda. Frank, thanks for coming on the show. I appreciate it.